It is really a great pleasure to welcome all of you to the re-inauguration of the uh, Brazil Room, La Salle du Brésil. Uh, thank you all for being here. And I would like to extend a very warm welcome uh, to those of you present, uh, in particular, well, Mr. Chairman, Shahid Bashir, uh, Ambassador, uh, Minister Luiz Alberto Figueiredo Machado, uh, Minister of Foreign Relations of Brazil, um, a long-time friend. Um, thank you all to be here, and it's really a great honor and pleasure for me as, uh, as the Director General of the WTO to be here for the inauguration of the Brazil Room. This is really a coincidence. I want you to believe that. <laughs> this, this project started a while back. It started early next year, last year, uh, before any of this was planned or even thought. But it was a, an, an important project was done in the context of the uh, renovation of the WTO premises. Um, and uh, we, we, we counted on the support of the Confederation of National Industry in Brazil, the CNI, which is today here represented as well. I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. But the Brazil Room, this is important for you to know, was originally conceived in 1937. So the Brazilian government agreed to give a gift to the ILO, which at the time occupied these premises. And uh, unfortunately, because of uh, a minor incident, Second World War, uh, the plans for refurbishing the room and for decorating the room were delayed somewhat. So at the end of the day, it was only in 1949 that the decoration actually started. Um, and the room was finally inaugurated in 1959. So it took about 10 years from the original plan to the inauguration of the room. And uh, this time around, we were a bit quicker. Uh, and we finished uh, it quite quickly, but uh, it was not so as straightforward as we had hoped. Uh, for example, uh, we were planning to have the original furniture reincorporated into the room. That was not possible. Uh, for many reasons, but at that point in time, we counted on the support of the Brazilian uh, uh, Confederation of Industry, National Confederation of Industry, that offered to provide replicas to, of the original furniture. And that was done um, very, in a very expedite way, and I want to thank the National Confederation of Industry, uh, its president, Mr. Robson Braga de Andrade, which is today here represented by Mr. Carlos Eduardo Abjaldi, which is the, who is the Director of Industrial Development of the Confederation. Now, the room, therefore, has been uh, restored, and it brings back an important piece of history of this building, this historical building. It is now, and you will see it shortly, uh, you will see inside, or just describe very briefly, um, it now has a, a novel table, uh, and this table is made with uh, Brazilian wood from sustained forests. <laughs> it has chairs, also wood chairs, same wood, same forests, uh, with it, well, upholstered in green. And the tone of green is the tone of the Brazilian flag. But it looks nice. It really does. You'll see. And if you look closely, there are also two other pieces of ornament. There is the Brazilian coat of arms, which is on the top of the, on the, top of the doors from the inside. You can't see it from here, but you will see from the inside, uh, which is carved in wood. Same wood. Uh, on the left-hand side, you will see a glass map of Brazil, which is uh, coated in gold uh, with some major cities. And an important thing to note is that Brasilia does not show up. And the reason for that was that the work was commissioned in 1950, and Brasilia didn't exist. And then later, uh, people thought, well, you know, maybe we can send it back to the artists to include Brasilia. Uh, but then they decided not to. And I'm actually glad that that happened, because it shows that how, how much the world has changed over these years. But some things remain, and I think one of the things that remain is Brazil's commitment to the multilateral trading system and to multilateralism. And I'm very happy to have um, the, the minister here with us today, uh, which shows that commitment uh, embodied in his presence. Um, so 
I don't want to prolong this very much. It is with great satisfaction that we re-inaugurate the room. But before we do that, I'd like to give the floor to Minister Figueiredo. Dear friend Roberto, my longtime friend, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a pleasure and an honor to be here as I pay my first visit to Geneva as Minister of External Relations. It is, uh, as I said, a privilege to take part in this ceremony dedicated to the re-inauguration of the Brazil Room. The re reopening of this room in this building is not without some symbolism. It was furnished and decorated in the 50s as a gift to the ILO, and it stands as a testimony of our country's presence in the history of the Geneva multilateral organizations. But as you said, we have come a long way since the 50s. Brazil has undergone important economic, social, and political changes. It is today a country with solid democratic institutions, a vibrant and participating society, which is making unprecedented stri strides in the process of the development with social justice. The multilateral system has evolved as well. Uh, many years after this room was given its Brazilian identity, if I may say so, the WTO was created on the foundations of the GATT system, and the new organization inherited this whole structure. One thing has not changed. It is the view of the, the Brazilian diplomacy that multilateral organizations are an essential instrument for the promotion of the interests and aspirations of the international community. Thus, it is appropriate that this Brazil room remains as a signpost of our long-standing commitment to multilateralism. I want to express my thanks to the Brazilian National Confederation of Industry, which has made it possible for the Brazilian room to regain its original luster. As pointed out by Roberto, it is indeed a fine coincidence that this room is re-inaugurated at the start of the tenure of the first Brazilian to head the WTO. All the more reason for us to be, conf to be confident about the prospects for the WTO and for an increased Brazilian participation in the multilateral trading system. I thank you all very much. Thank you. 